traveling to route 66. Ready for battle. I would not use shout there, bro. The distance is, is gonna be so small, and now we're not gonna have any freaking pressure. Let, let me uh, 14 second cooldown. Yeah, that's not great. You should really knife here. Oh man. Oh fuck, I got all this damage. But, anyways, gotta work on that knife, because that knife was not predictive enough. Hey, look at you just threw it at him instead of the direction where he was going. I don't. Mm, I'm not too big a fan of this angle. I would try a little more to play here instead, because you still get like fire shark angles and shit like that. Um. But you don't really, um, you just get the same angles pretty much, but you get more cover with the payload, right? Because if somebody moves, like, right here, kind of like where the hounds was at, you can still catch damage. But if you're standing, like, more so, like, right here, it's a little bit easier to kind of handle yourself because they just don't have as good of an angle. But you can still throw your fire and stuff like that. It's a really tough match, though, because you have Zen and Ryan. Okay, here, don't put, there's no real use of putting the, the shield up, most times. Look at this back. Also, always swing, just always swing. If, if your shield is not up, swing. Like, this is bad. Like, putting your shield up here is doing nothing. This is what I talk about with having a purpose when you expose yourself, specifically to, especially to certain comps, right? Putting your shit up here does nothing. He's still just gonna completely force you back. Either st stay here, right? Stay on the payload and force them to be on the payload with you in your preferred range. Um, so that they can test. Or go in there to try and make a play, right? Like, but just sitting here in the sides of it is really bad. And this comp will just punish you for it. Like, you see how they're just melting you down because you're just standing here, shield, shield up, no cover. Like, even if, if, if the ROM was shitting on you here, it would still be better. Because at, at least these people don't, even though they're not really hitting you, right? The idea is that you don't catch as much extra poke. Standing here, and you do the same because you you don't have, you're not in range to swing at anyone here. So if you're gonna be like here, better may as well be here and use the. Let's just, you just have to pay attention to all the cover you actually have available. And remember that the payload is a, is a really, like, is a is a is a piece of cover you like you can easily overlook, right? <sighs> this is bad. Like, there's just no point in swinging here, like. This this is this is all about Ryan knowledge. There's some scenarios where you have to just recognize that the damage you will catch trying to get a fire strike or a swing in is so detrimental. It's not worth it at all to go for it, and you should just keep your shield up. I mean, look, did he? I think did you have Discord before you put the shield on? Let's see. Together, then strikes him down. Ah! You don't have it, you don't have it. You drop shield and now you get it. 
So you call extra damage than you had to because you kind of went in here with no real plan, right? And then they punish you because you were just kind of in, in like a gray area here where you're not playing back on the cover playing safe, but you're not in there hammering them and trying to make a play, right? And comps like these will just heavily punish you. You just have to recognize that. Like, it's just... You're not going to get anything done trying to go for a swing here. Nothing's going to die. It's just going to do exactly what it did to you. And now you die. Look. He had like 70 when he went for that last swing. Maybe if you didn't get discorded, you would have needed another swing. Maybe your honor, your bab could have kept you up. Maybe you would have seen an immortality, an aid, or something. It just all comes down to recognizing that it's like... In a, in a moment like that, you, there's no, it's not worth it to just for one swing or one fire strike to pull the shield down. Generally, and just anything that is like high damage, you just don't want to do that. I don't like this. They, they don't really have much to punish you that much other than the Zen. But you just standing in, in, in the, look, almost think about it like this. If you ever feel indecisive and you look at the floor and you see a street, you probably just shouldn't be there. Like right here, just standing around here, I don't like that at all. I either walk on high ground or something to avoid the damage or walk you using these rocks, right? But letting them break your shit like that, I don't like that. Like, look, you just stand. You just stand. Now you're going into the fight with like a third of your shield just not there. Just like not there. Okay, no, that's good. The moment you see me, like your Reaper there, you have to make, you have to walk forward. That is space that your team is giving. Remember, don't get caught up. Remember because. Look, 375, and any moment, let, let's look at school down. In any moment, he could go in the, in the fucking tank mode, and you will just have to pull back. And you have no speed here. So the only thing that could keep you up, other than, like, uh, immortality or something, is just straight heals. Let's look at this. You see, he has it. I don't know why he doesn't use it. It would have literally saved him. But Im imagine he pops it. Now wait, you just have 300 HP. That's just a few. That's what three swings or something, and and you're dead. Like, and, and when you push in against certain characters, you have to be ready to like. You just have to keep in mind that at any moment they could just kind of like they have a cooldown to punish you, right? Again, you you are kind of just standing around here, but. Either walk into cover where you don't you don't get damaged, your shield isn't shredded, you're fine, you don't die, or you have to go in there and make a play. You cannot again if you're not if you're not sure what you should do and you see a street where you're standing at, you probably shouldn't be there. I don't like that. You're not using charge at all. I'm not using charge at all. And using charge is so like high reward, low risk a lot of the time because you can cancel it. Like imagine you charge at the Moira and you kill the Moira. You stop the ult, you get a pick, you probably win that fight now. Much better. Like just charge at the bitch. You're full HP. They 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 got rid of ram. Like there's no punish. Okay, that, that brings me on to another point. A lot of times, there's certain triggers with certain characters that you have to just, like, you, they have to become, like, muscle memory, right? When Moira fades, you have to up immediately look for that bitch. Because if she's close enough, you can just charge at her. I've told you this before. You can charge at her, cancel charge, and delete her, and she will not get fade back in time. You just get a pick. If Anana uses sleep... And she's out of and she doesn't have feel like that. You can charge and then cancel at that bitch and kill her, and she will not. She just she won't outlive it, right? Instead, you just walk up to the Moira, let her damage you, and for like you gain nothing. If you charge, 
One, you pull her back from your team. One. Two, you can potentially kill her, thanks to charge. And three, you yourself don't catch as much damage because you don't just, it's quicker. Like, I see what you do now. Yeah, just push her a little bit. We'll just end this one here to be safe.